Shankar Yoshi from Arden Global Center School, Halwan. Student, today we will discuss topic digestion in human beings. So students, what is the digestion? Digestion is actually the break, broken down of food particles. What does it mean? Student, our body needs energy to do the work. We get this energy by the food we take, we eat. So, the food we eat cannot be utilized as such by our body. To make the food usable, the food must be converted into simpler and soluble molecules. These simpler and soluble molecules are then absorbed by our body cells. So, this is the process of digestion and the process of digestion is, takes place in the human digestive system. Listen students, the food passes through, the, through a continuous canal that begins with the buccal cavity and ends to the anus. So students, the canal can be divided into different compartments. The different compartments are as follows. The first one is the buccal cavity. And the second one is esophagus. And the esophagus is also known as food pipe. Now the third one is stomach and the fourth is small intestine fifth one is large intestine And sixth is anus. Large intestine ends with rectum. And anus is the last part of the digestive system through which the waste products removes out. And the, these compartments makes the canal system, that canal system is known as Elementary canal. So, student, these are the different parts of the elementary canal. So, with the help of diagram, we discuss the different parts of the elementary canal. So, let's see this diagram and listen it carefully. Nutrition in human beings takes place with the help of digestive system. Digestive system includes alimentary canal, digestive glands and the digestive system starts from the mouth and extends it up to anus. Salivary glands, liver, pancreas and the gastric glands are the glands of digestive system. Next is mouth. In mouth, Large food is broken down into small particles with the help of a teeth. Saliva secretes secreted by salivary glands. And the enzymes present in mouth are salivary amylase which convert starch into sugar maltose. Hence, digestion starts in mouth itself. Stomach. The rhythmic contraction and relaxation of muscles of the canal are called peristalsis. It helps the food to move forward through esophagus. Food reaches to the J-shaped organ called stomach. Stomach is located on the left side of the abdomen. 
in the stomach gastric glands present in a small in the wall of the stomach secreted juices namely hydrochloric acid pepsin mucus hydrochloric acid maintain acidic medium of the stomach pepsin digest proteins mucus protect the wall of the stomach from acid wall of stomach helps in mixing the gastric juices in food sphincter muscles present at the end of the stomach regulates the movement of food in small intestine small intestine small intestine is a long coil structure placed compactly in the be belly its average length is about 5 to 6 meter long carbohydrate fats and proteins are fully digested by small intestine the largest gland known as liver secretes bile juice the bile juice is stored in gallbladder bile juice secret gallbladder secrete by juice into small intestine where it maintain alkaline medium and breaks large fat molecules in small particles pancreas pancreas secretes pancreatic juice enzymes trypsin lipase pancreatic amylase Trypsin digest proteins, lipase breakdown of fats and pancreatic amylase digest carbohydrates. Bile and pancreatic juice enters in a small intestine through common duct. A small intestine secretes intestinal juice in which proteins convert into amino acids carbohydrates into glucose and fats into fatty acids the wall of a small intestine have a finger like projections called villi villi help in the absorption of food it is then carried out to other parts of the body by blood unused glucose is stored as glycogen in liver the unabsorbed food is then enters in large intestine next large intestine large intestine is about 1.5 meter long completely digested food enters in large intestine the walls of large intestine have villi which absorbs water and salts from digested food the waste material comes out through anus. So students, before starting the process of digestion, let's discuss the types of human teeth. Teeth helps us in chewing the food and break it into mechanically small pieces. Our teeth vary in appearance and perform different functions. Accordingly, they are of four types, incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Let's discuss one by one the function of each type of teeth. The front teeth which helps us in cutting or biting the food are called incisors. There are four incisors in each jaw. Next to in each incisor, there is one canine on each side. Thus, there are two canines in each jaw. Canines help in tearing the food. So, the main function of canine is tearing. Next, two teeth on each side of the jaw are premolars. There are four premolars in each jaw. These are helpful in chewing and grinding the food. At the end, 
there are three molars on each side of the jaw thus there are six molars in each jaw these helps in chewing and grinding the food so these are the types of teeth generally the teeth are of two types milk teeth and permanent teeth the first set of teeth grows during infancy and they fall off at the age between 6 to 8 years these are termed as milk teeth the second set that replaces them are the permanent teeth the permanent teeth may last throughout the life or fall off during old age or due to some dental disease so the uh, teeth plays the role a major role in the process of digestion so students this is all for today in a next video we discuss the steps or process of digestion thank you so much